Hello, this is Ilya and this is my Cambridge interview experience. A lot of the stuff that I will talk about in this video I have mentioned in my other videos but there's some content which is uh, new. I applied for Biological Natural Sciences at Jesus College in autumn 2017 and I'd say my interview was relatively normal but of course every interview will be completely different. So I had two interviews on Monday the 4th of December, they were both in college and I came up the day before so I could spend the night and I wouldn't have to travel really early on Monday morning. Uh, all the food and accommodation is free and I think they can reimburse you for travel costs. My interviews were at 9.30 and 11.30 in the morning. So yeah, I got a train to Cambridge on the Sunday and I was let into my room, which was a very nice room. It was a standard undergraduate room for first years. For dinner, you get to eat in the hall. It's a very nice, fancy place. And yet, yeah, all for free. And you get to meet all sorts of people. Some of them uh, I'm still friends with. Some of the people I met were from very fancy schools like Eton and Westminster and St. Paul. But interestingly, most of the people I met from those schools didn't get in. One thing that all the people I met had in common was that they were all friendly, all of them. Like not a single person I met was unfriendly. Most of them were also stressed and I was quite stressed as well on the day I arrived, the day before my interview. So I tried to revise a bit, but on the interview day itself, I was much less stressed because I realized it's not very helpful to be stressed. In terms of what I was wearing on the day of my interview, it was a blue blazer, a red tie, and a blue jumper, so pretty much what I wore for my year 13 Levers photo. Whilst you're waiting for your interview, you can be in the cafe or in this uh, waiting room, especially for people who have their interviews, and when it's time for your interview, one of the undergraduates will show you around and they're all very friendly. So at 9.30, I was let in into my first interview. This was with two of the um, fellows or tutors at the college who specialize in biology and they shake my hand and the first question they ask is would you like some water I say no thank you but I don't think they heard me right because they poured me a glass of water anyway and I didn't touch it throughout the whole interview and then the next thing they say is have you brought something for us and I was quite confused because I hadn't heard of this before I wasn't sure what they meant um, and I was like, no, I haven't brought anything. And then they ask, what kind of biology do you like? And I say, I like evolution and behavior. And the rest of the interview was pretty much a conversation that started from there. Um, so we talked about all sorts of stuff. Um, at one point, I was talking about how some insects get decapitated during mating. And uh, one of the interviews made a joke about that, which is a, a bit funny. And then at one point, the latest Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine was mentioned. This was about the circadian rhythms in cells. I like briefly had a look, so I was able to say a little bit about that. Later on, I uh, mentioned the replicator vehicle analogy from Richard Dawkins' The Selfish Gene, which I definitely recommend reading for anyone, not just biologists. Uh, just to motivate you is the book that coined the word meme so you can see it's a good book. Towards the end of my first interview they asked me how can you find a specific gene? How can you find a gene that causes this this phenotype? And the answer they were looking for is you look at mutants but I wasn't catching on to that idea so I, I talked about other stuff and they ended up asking, how do you find a needle in a haystack? Because that's the same thing, essentially. I responded, you burn it or use a magnet, which isn't what they were looking for, I think. Anyway, I left the interview not having fully answered the last question, but overall, I think it was very chill. It didn't feel scripted at all, and it felt much more like a conversation than an actual interview. So I actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, after my first interview, I went to the waiting room uh, to wait for my second interview. There I was speaking to this guy who just had his interview for the same course as me and I was like how was your interview and 
he was like, no, no, no. How was your interview? <laughs> it's a very cool guy. But unfortunately, he didn't get in. Anyway, so for my second interview, it was a bit more scripted. This time it was with a, a man and a woman. And the first question I was asked was, can you talk to me about this project that you were involved in at school? It's a project I didn't want to talk about because I wasn't as involved in it as other stuff. Uh, which is why I avoided it in my personal statement. They saw it in my reference and they found it interesting. So they asked me about it. Um, when I first came into my interview, I did see that they were holding a sheet which looked like it was my reference and there was yellow highlighter on it. So they clearly had a look at it. Uh, the second question I was asked was, how can you tell if a specific protein is in a cell? I think the answer they were looking for is Western blotting or something like that. Uh, because that was also mentioned in my reference um, but I didn't catch on to that instead I talked about using antibodies to tell if a specific protein is present and then eventually uh, GFP at some point uh, but I don't think they they got the answer that they wanted. The next thing we talked about was my EPQ for those of you who don't know it's a project you do in year 12 or 13 it's equivalent to about half an A level I personally spent a lot of time on it in year 12 and I think I put more effort into my EPQ than I did in some of my A-levels. I did my EPQ on beetle iridescence. There are these really pretty beetles called jewel beetles and I took their wings and I'd heat them up to like ridiculous temperatures and look at the colour change and I found that there's a really interesting colour change from green to purple to black as you heat them up to different temperatures and that's what my whole project was based on uh, so i talked a lot about that in my interview i think about half of my interview that second interview was about my epq at one point i mentioned light interference and one of the interviews was like oh can you show me a diagram to explain how that works so i grab a piece of paper on the table and just draw um, light interference it's something you would learn in GCSE physics. Later on, I mention an electron microscope because um, I was fortunate enough to have had access to an electron microscope for my EPQ. But I mentioned that it wasn't a very powerful one. And then they asked me why was it not powerful enough to which I responded the like cathode ray tube wasn't strong enough or something like that. So basically they were asking me to explain how an electron microscope works. Don't think I fully answered that, but oh well. So yeah, that's my two interviews. I'd say overall, it was quite an enjoyable experience. The first one felt like a conversation. The second one, I felt there were only two scripted questions and the rest was similar to a conversation. What's interesting is that people who applied for the same course at different colleges had completely different experiences. They were asked questions about chemistry and maths and I was asked none of those kind of questions. It does show you that each interview is unique. If you do get an interview, I'd say try to enjoy the experience. It's going to be an opportunity to go into an amazing college, to have some great food, stay in a very nice room and you get to meet a lot of people. A lot of people I met at my interview I'm still friends with and even the people who didn't get in you might still be friends with them so I'd say try to enjoy the experience and try not to be too stressed. Thank you for listening and if you have any questions you'd like me to answer please subscribe and comment and then I'll answer them. If you have any suggestions, feedback or any ideas please comment them as well and yeah see you soon. Oh one thing I forgot to mention on the day of my interview, when I went to take a shower in my room, the weirdest thing happened. I saw that the mirror, it had steamed up, but there were words written out in the steam. And I was like, how did that get there? I think what may have happened is someone, the person who lived in that room previously made a to-do list on the mirror, but it was a bit scary. <laughs>